Hello everyone and welcome to the channel. Today we have Eldrazi for the Popper format. So when we think about Eldrazi in Popper, we think about Ulamog's Crusher being reanimated with Exhum on turn 2. But uh, this type of Dex is very weak uh, to um, Graveyard Hate and the new downshifted Cast Down. So I present to you Red Green Eldrazi. Um, this deck focuses on uh, well, dropping a Hand of Amrakul on turn 3. Uh, Hand of Amrakul is a 7-7 seven, seven for 9 mana, uh, which has Annihilator 1 and it can be casted by sacrificing 4 Eldrazi spawns instead of uh, its mana cost. So to cast this on turn 3 we need uh, Nest Invader and Broad Birthing. Nest Invader is a 2-2 two, two for 2 which is played in the mono green decks in Popper, and when it enters the battlefield, it creates a 0 1 Eldrazi spawn. And uh, Brood Birthing is a sorcery for uh, one generic and a red. And if you control an Eldrazi spawn, you create three Eldrazi spawns, but if you don't, you only create one. So, in our starting hand, we are looking to have a um, either a broad birthing and a nest invader or two broad birthing so we can cast on a uh, hand of emrakul on turn three uh, the rest of the deck is four stalking drones uh, four coastal expeditor and three blistering pot stalking drone is a two two for two that you can pay a colorless to uh, give it plus one plus two until end of turn and it can only be activated one once each turn but a uh, 3-4 for 2 mana, it's quite big in the popper format. Uh, also, Cosilex Predator is a 3-3 three, three, for 4 that when it enters the battlefield, it creates um, 2 Eldrazi spawns, which helps us um, cast Hand of Emrakul. Lastly, uh, Blistering Pod is a 1-1 one, one for 1 that when it dies, it creates an Eldrazi Scion, which is not uh, the same as an, as an Eldrazi spawn. But uh, it gives us another body, it fills the curve, and you can uh, chunk block uh, for days with it. Um, our spells are uh, 4 Rancor, 2 burn, br burn Bright, and 3 Otherworldly Outburst. Rancor is a must-have in this deck. He's a 1-man enchantment that ha uh, grants plus 2, plus 0, and trample. <coughs> and when it goes into the graveyard from play, uh, you return it to your hand. So you can use it everywhere and just uh, attack for free to deal some damage. Burn Bride is an instant that uh, gives plus 2 plus 0 until end of turn to all creatures, so we can use it to uh, give our Eldrassi spawns some uh, attack. An Otherworldly Outburst is an instant that grants plus 1 plus 0 until end of turn, and if the creature dies, we put a 3-2 colorless Eldrazi token onto the battlefield. Uh, lastly, we have 3 Merchant of the Veil and 4 Lightning Bolts, because if you are playing red, you usually play Lightning Bolts, it's the best burn spell in the format. Merchant of the Veil has uh, two, an adventure on the uh, creature side. The adventure, we can cast it uh, at instant speed, and it allows us to discard a card and then draw a card, and then the creature side is the same, but playing three ma uh, paying 3 mana, and we can do it over and over. Our mana base is the best for the proper format, is the uh, 5 forest, 4 mountains, 2 grilled turfs, which is a, a bounce land that uh, when it comes into play, you have to return a land you control to your hand, and then it, it gives us adds uh, red and green. Uh, then we have four Asbarons and two Evolving Wilds, our mana fixing lands. Asbarons uh, have a double purpose, as it uh, allows us to pay the colorless for the uh, for the Stalker drone, but also helps us with the mana fixing Evolving Wilds. Uh, then four Ragged Highlands, the gain lands, so we have the perfect mana base and one Wastes, so we can fetch it and activate the the stocking drone ability. Our uh, sideboard is um, two electricaries because we have a horrible matchup against the 
uh, elves and many tokens decks, so we can wipe out the board. And then um, three Asian Grudge, you can play Gorilla Shaman here, but uh, I prefer the Asian Grudge because it helps us um, kill the 4 fours in Affinity and many other artifacts that are played nowadays. Then two Flame Slash when we need some more removal. And our uh, final slots in the sideboard are uh, 3 Life Go Zone, which is a 1 mana instant that you gain 4 life, but if a creature died you gain 8. So against Burn usually is a 1 mana, you gain 8 life uh, due to the, um, all the Eldrassi spawns that we can sacrifice in, in response. Then 3 Red Elemental Blast to fight against uh, blue counter spells, and 2 Tranquilities to destroy all enchantments, uh, whether it is. Um, uh, Oubliette or Vogels or whatever other enchantment that is giving us a headache. So this is red, green, Eldrassi for the popper format. So how do we play these, uh, this deck? Well in the early game we have two options. We can go for the combo option or the more uh, aggro option. The combo option is the dropping a hand of Emrakul on turn 3 and attacking, usually if the opponent d doesn't have removal, they're going to, to lose because Annihilator 1 is not as much as obviously Annihilating 2, but it's a 7-7 seven, seven on turn 4 that is um, making the opponent sacrifice each turn. So we would need a Nest Invader and Brood Birthing, or two Brood Birthing. And then the other uh, route that we can take is the aggro. And we can play Blistering Pulse, Stone Kitten Row, Nest Invader, uh, using Lightning Bolts to kill the early drops, using Otherworldly Outburst and the, uh, before blocks to create uh, bigger blockers and Rancor whenever possible to get in for some free damage. The mid game is uh, uh, revolves around Cosilex Predator and Stalking Drone uh, and its activated ability. And also we create a, lo a lot of Eldrassi spawns that are, well, can be used for chunk block or can be used uh, to attack with um, all the creatures we have and then using Burn Bright to make them hit for something. I mean, if you have 5, you are hitting for 10 with one Burn Bright. And also we can use Rancor on the Eldrassi spawn to allow them to hit for free. So if the opponent has a lot of X1s, you, you just use a uh, Rancor on, El on an Eldrassi spawn and attack for free because it doesn't cost you a card and well they are losing a creature if they block. Lastly, the late game uh, we have two options. One is a Merchant of, th of the Bale casting it so we can um, cycle away the excess of lands or the Hand of Embracul that we perhaps we draw one and we only have five um, five lands and no spawns, so we can cycle it away. And also we are trying to assemble four Dressy spawns to, uh, well, cast Hand of Emrakul for free. So some tips and tricks uh, for this deck are that if you have, um, for example, an Dressy spawn and stocking drone and you're attacked by a Gourmag Angler or a Nest Invader or other creature with two toughness, which the popper format is full of, uh, well, you can block with the Eldrazi, the Gurmag, and the Stalker, the Nest Invader, and then use Otherworldly Outburst on the Eldrazi spawn, and when, once it resolves, you sacrifice the spawn. With the mana you add, you put it on the Stalker drone, and then the aftermath would be that you have a 3-2 uh, token and then the Stalker drone, and the good manger could be tapped, of course, because it did just attack, and the other creature could be dead, so we can swing for six. Uh, also, regarding the Eldrassi spawns, we create a lot of them, so uh, don't be afraid to use them to chunk block, to attack, and to to use them for mana if you need to. But uh, bear in mind that you always should have at least one on the battlefield. So if you top deck a, a birthing. A the two mana sorcery, uh, you can use it to create three more, and then if you have four, just uh, try not to use them so you can top deck a hand of Rakul and 
uh, cast it. So this could be all for the uh, red, green, and Rassi for the popper format. Try it and let me know in the comments how it goes, and see you next time.